But it's only just begun. So what's going on everybody, it's your boy Questex and uh, you know I want to talk about something that was brought to my attention, shout out to Ticket TV, 78 Sports TV, um, a few other people, uh, 93 Sports, he hit me up and he asked me about what, what my thoughts were on the situation, about Conor McGregor basically saying dance for me boy to Floyd Mayweather. Now listen, I am in no way defending Floyd Mayweather as if... Uh, I forget the Floyd Mayweather is a buck dancing cool. Absolutely not. But one thing I will sit there and say is, no white man will ever tell me, dance for me, boy. All right? Because I know the racist connotation that is attached to that. Because I know my ancestors, when they were slaves in the plantation, their slave masters would tell some of the little boy, dance for me, boy, as entertainment. See, I don't care if it's a scheduled fight. I don't care if it's entertainment. This shit that just you should not say at all. All right. And, and, and let me sit here and say this: If Floyd Mayweather were white, doing the shit that Conor McGregor does, saying the shit that Conor McGregor does, he'd be getting all of the praise the way you see Conor McGregor. And, and, and how the media just salivates and smiles and laughs when he's sitting up there talking his shit. Because he's saying virtually the exact same things that Floyd Mayweather did. And he's labeled a confident, uh, 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 he has unshakable self-belief, right? See all these positive uh, uh, words that are attached to, to Conor McGregor? He's a warrior. He's, 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 uh, Somebody who's forging his own path, but I remember distinctly when Floyd Mayweather was doing it. He's cocky. He's arrogant. He's a showboat. He's he 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 needs to humble himself. All these different things. And see, I don't forget what you say. See, I remember Conor McGregor sitting up there talking that racist Mexican shit about the Diaz brothers. See, I, I remember when Conor McGregor sitting there talking shit to the black fighters in the UFC. Can't nobody tell me that there is no double standard. See, this is uh, and look, I'm, uh, this is separate from the fight. Listen, I'm gonna watch the fight. I'm not talking about the fight. I'm talking about he shouldn't have came out his mouth talking reckless like that. Period. Period. All right, because there, there is just this protocol. See, just like we got down on, on, uh, on Danny Garcia's pops for coming out his neck talking reckless. We gotta, we gotta be consistent. I'm gonna be consistent when it comes to it. I don't care. You know, you can like and, and think that Conor McGregor is this charismatic individual and and whatever, but I know the bullshit hypocrisy. It's evident in how black fighters are treated in combat sports in general alright, in general so, you know to me I, I, I'm not going to give him a pass he doesn't get a pass from me I don't care what you say Conor McGregor does not give a pass from me and I personally I personally feel that Conor McGregor is a racist I, I've, I've sat there and I did videos in the past about it when there were things that were going on with him, because I personally did not like the things the man was saying when he was in the buildup to the, the the Diaz and McGregor one fight, even in the second fight. He he is low-key, the man says shit that, that should make people pause. And it is not shit that you can advertise. You see, there's a difference. See, when we want to sit here and say, yeah, he he's doing this to, to market himself and to build himself, right? There's a way you can do it without bringing race into it. He does it, and he does it low-key all the fucking time. And his fans are worse. See, I I know experiencing the, 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 the pack tars that came around 
but Conor McGregor got some devious little racist ass fans. You can go on the on the videos right now promoting this fight and you'll hear shit and you'll see shit. You know, in fact, you know, I think I'm gonna post a couple of pictures in this video of screenshots that I've personally taken of some of the shit the Conor McGregor fans say and they do. Conor McGregor was talking reckless. He is a racist in my opinion. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. To me, he's racist. And I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and sugarcoat it because it's sports entertainment. That's just my thing. Now, this is not directed to any of my brothers in the LDBC. And this is not directed to anybody else. If you got a different perspective on it, then that's, that's your perspective and I respect it 100%. But to me, dude should never have said no shit like that. Period. This your boy Quest X. I am out. Peace. Still greets him regardless of result. When I, we're sending uh, Rafael on a four-day media run throughout, uh, throughout Brazil in, in a couple of weeks, and we've got to book him a hotel. I've got to book him a hotel in his own home country. So that should tell you all you need to know. He will never step off a plane and receive a hero's welcome in the country of Brazil because he ran from the country of Brazil. He didn't trust his own. And, and, and that's why Jose is the troop champion in, in, in his country. And this guy is just, this guy in, in Brazilian lingo is a gringo. And that is, that is the truth. My neck crash, you guys can make for him because he's answer for me so my neck crash you guys can make yeah I, I i set it all up and i knocked it all out of the park that's what i do that's why you're sitting there that's why you're flying to, to brazil and, and uh, to do that media run i want i want to send you back to our brazilian tv partners globo and combat j sport and have you answer to the brazilian people why we have to book you a hotel in your own home country why your kids names are bob your kids names are bob and donald why are you raising American children? Why don't you trust in your own people? So you're going back to Brazil to answer that question while you stay in a hotel that we have to pay for you because you don't have a home over there. For me, this doesn't make any sense. I think we, we all, the whole world, they have American dreams. And this country, you know, uh, we have like people from all different parts part of the world. We have Irish who live here, we have Brazilian. And I think the, these people doesn't deserve to be called traitors, you know. I just think about that. And uh, this, this guy is calling me traitor just because I live here. I have my kids here, you know. I, I, have, I live with my family. And so we, we have people around the world who live in the United States. And these people doesn't deserve to be called traitors. I like, I like Nick's little bro. I do. I honestly not like, I like Nick, uh, Nick's little bro, you know what I mean? How can you not like him? He's, he's, like a, he's like a little cholo gangster from the hood. But at the same time, but at the same time he coaches kids jujitsu on a Sunday morning and goes on bike rides with the elderly. He makes gun signs with the right hand and animal balloons with the left hand. So I, I, 